hogs on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple strip. Good Ravens fam. So hopefully you all enjoyed that game as well as I did, except for like the last couple of minutes. If you saw in a reaction video or you was um, there for the live stream, it's no excuse for all them late timeouts and everything. But um, right off the bat, the game, uh, the first half, the first couple of plays, it uh, really irritated me. Uh, it was like Lamar was throwing to Mark Andrews, then Mark Andrews again. Then he, uh, no, he went Mark Andrews, a screenplay, then Mark Andrews again. And it was like he was stuck in that motion until Mark Andrews was out. So hopefully Mark Andrews will, um, I will actually sit him out for like New Orleans. It matters how he's feeling, but I will actually sit him out. And then, you know, you had to buy for the extra heel. Then let's get back on the groove. But uh, he did really good to me. Lamar did really good. He uh, shared the ball, passed the ball around pretty good, started trusting his wide receivers. Um, we saw a sighting of Prochet and Likely. And uh, to me, they, they both did good. You know, we're going to look at the stats in a few. But overall, first half, the team, to me, started extremely, extremely slow. Um, I know that... Harbs said, uh, well, after the game, they said, you know, the Lamar did like 30 attempts or something like that in the first half. He's like, well, that was part of the plan. Me personally, I think that was because he threw 16 last week. They really wanted to get that over so they can say, oh, you see how many attempts he did throughout the whole game? Okay, now we can just run the ball. So that was kind of iffy to me. But let's look at the uh, let's look at the stats. All right, so we have um, Lamar. Dang, hey, Tom Brady had a QBR of twenty seven. Ugh, dang. Hmm. Messed his his family up for football. Yeah, that's what happens. All right, so uh, Lamar Jackson. Okay, twenty seven complete, thirty eight. Um, attempts, two hundred thirty eight yards, two TDs, three sacks. Okay, QBR 62. Now, he had 30 attempts in the first half. So, they mean the second half, he really only had eight? Is that what they're saying? That in itself is interesting. One That is very interesting. Are they trying to subliminally say they don't trust Lamar throwing a ball? Huh. Something to think about. Gus the bus, he did not get no runs in that first half, I believe. They was not running the ball. And also, hope, thankfully, he's okay. He just had a hamstring. Um, but, yeah, they did not run the ball. But 11 carry, 65 yards. That's not bad. Long 22. I, wish you want, I, know, I wonder which one was that one, that long 22-yarder. I wonder if that was the one when they was close to the uh, – to the Buccaneers touchdown. Drake, seven carries, 62. Um, Jackson, nine carries, 43. Justice Hill, four carries, 28. So everybody did pretty good. Devin DuVernay, um, two carries, 33 yards. So yeah, everybody did pretty good to me as far as rushing. To me, it should have been a little bit more, but it is what it is. Isaiah Likely, six receptions, 77 yards, one TD. The longest one was 17 and seven targets. So, I mean, one uh, incomplete on him, which is not bad in my opinion. Uh, he looked it very well. He looked it when Mark Andrews stepped out, he stepped up. He looked it good. Looked like he got his confidence. Hopefully, he can stay with, with that confidence. He, can, he continues to grow. D-Rob, he showed up as well. Six receptions, 64 yards, 16. He could have had a TD, but that pass was just a slight late, but Lamar had the pressure um, in his face. To me, that's what really slowed him down. Mark Andrews, three receptions, 33 yards, five targets. Though, If Mark Andrews had five targets and he didn't even play the whole game, that shows you how much attention 
Lamar was giving him. Even though I know that's his scapegoat and that's his dog, but come on now. Come on. I seen my boy Proche open a couple of times. But talking about Proche, we have three receptions. That's a uh, season high. 24 yards. That's a season high. And uh, he had four targets. So he, um, that one that missed, let me see. Oh, that was that pass. Lamar, um, yeah, Lamar missed him on that one. Because that, that, to me, probably would have been a touchdown. Because if he would have threw it right, he could have caught him in stride and just turned up the field. It would have been easy money. We got Drake, Oliver, uh, Bateman. I don't even know why they play Bateman. Um, to me, you they they should have known throughout the whole week his, his foot is not fully there. It feels like they're trying to rush him. And the Ravens are known to do that. Like back in the day, up and down, they're kind of trying to rush you. But um, they should have activated um, D-Jack or what a Andy Isabella, in the or whatever. That boy we haven't even seen yet. They should have activated him. They activated like 13 tight ends. So just take one of them away or two of them. But one, one thing you do not see that's surprising on this list, look at this. You don't see Pat Ricard for any receptions. That is a first. I know in the game a couple of times, Pat Ricard threw his hand up. Lamar didn't look his way. And on one, I think Lamar saw him. But I think Lamar was like, man, I'm going to just try to get a couple of yours or whatever because it makes no sense you out here. So thank you, Lamar, if that's what you was thinking. Thank you because... Pat Ricard should have a lot more receptions than Mark Andrews like he did last week. Um, defense. Uh, wow, Geno Stone led the team in tackles. That's cool. I'm, I, I really don't care for Geno Stone. Um, to me, the defense actually played good. They played good. The uh, cornerbacks, uh, Marcus Peters, um, Marlon Humphrey, Dropped interceptions. Um, Chuck Clark dropped interceptions. But, uh, yeah, so there's really three interceptions in this game could have happened, but they all dropped them. I think Pepe was close to one, too. He dove, but it was just a little bit out, out of his head, his reach. But overall, defense did good. Um, sacks, we, uh, Justin Houston, killing it. Two sacks. Matabuki, one sack. He was killing it. Um, good good pressure. Him and Broderick Washington was killing that 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 uh up the middle, and it, a lot of people should know by now that is one of Tom Brady's weaknesses. Like if you get that pass rush up the middle, that dude panics, and that's what the Ravens was doing. Um, but and Marlon Humphrey didn't have a set. I mean, a tackle. That's weird. That's weird. But yeah, he to me he played he played decent. Um away is away. Yeah, I just I'm I'm like, man, I don't know. Dude. Come on now. Come on. I, that, that, that's all I can say about Oway. Just I'm surprised really to see even he had a stat. I don't even remember seeing him get a tackle. He got one tackle. I don't even remember seeing that. But uh, Justin Tucker, he had actually got a field goal block. That was surprising. But that, to me, that wasn't on him. <laughs> it was the distance of a kick, so he had to kick it low. So that was just good special teaming right there from the opponent. Because I believe he would have uh, made that kick. He would have made that kick. So that's that's just right off the bat. But... Um, overall with the game, uh, I really liked the game. It was cool. Um, I had the Ravens losing, but I'm happy I was incorrect. I was wrong. Hopefully they can continue this win streak. Uh, hopefully we can see some d Because if you're going to sign a man, come on. Like, play him or something. But hopefully we continue to see. Uh, I don't know who's calling them offensive plays in that second half. I don't think that was Greg Roman. It was too much stuff making sense, and that ain't his way. That is not his way. He didn't even do one screen of Pat Record. Something is up. Like, not one. 
Yeah, something is up. I don't know what it is, but they probably seeing the Lamar frustration. They're starting to like, okay, man, you are the one that's running this team. So I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so hopefully you all enjoyed the game as well. And I did not know the Ravens scored. I mean, Tampa Bay scored 12 points in the fourth quarter. Wow. Wow. Mm. But, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed the game. Tell me what you all think about the game. And hopefully Eric DaCosta can make some moves before Tuesday trade deadline. Would love to see a splash. Everybody stay safe. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. God bless.